What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add music to your streams. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So first things first, I actually recommend you download something known as VLC. It's 100% free so you can just come here and download it. Now another thing I recommend is having non-copyrighted music in a folder. So just have loads and loads of different non-copyrighted music in a folder and this is what you're going to end up with. Of course I don't have many just yet. but what you want to do is just click on one of them right click then select open with and choose another app you want to select vlc media player then you also want to check this button right here always use this app to open mp3 files select ok just takes out of that and now you'll see all of these files here will be open with within vlc and that's exactly what we want so the next thing just highlight all of them right click add it to vlc media's playlist as you can see it is going to begin to play, I've just paused it for a second and now if you click this button right here, this will show you the music and if you want to shuffle the music then you select this button right here which puts it in a random order. So from there, all you need to do is right click here, select audio, select audio device and now this is where you pick. Do you want to hear the music when you are streaming or do you want it to be on a separate um, track where you cannot even hear the audio but the stream itself will hear the audio. So in this case if you want to be able to hear the audio which is most common then you can select default. If you don't want to hear the audio then you select a different one. So for example Rode Podcaster that is my microphone however I can also use that and it'll still work. So right now I'm going to select this one and we're going to be playing it. You'll notice it is playing but we can't hear anything and of course that's what we want for now. I'm going to open up OBS and now we need to head over to settings, we need to head over to audio and for the desktop audio device 2 we need to select this down button and of course we put it on the Rode Podcaster so select this, apply and OK. And as you'll see right now it says desktop audio 2 and this is where the music is coming from. Desktop audio is just the standard audio which is basically um like your gameplay so for example if I just press this as you can see it comes up there and that is how you've just separated the tracks so of course this way you could not hear anything but your gameplay so it's completely up to you how you want it if you do not want it this way and you want to hear it through your earphones itself then we need to turn off the desktop secondary back to disabled apply and OK need to head over to VLC and I'm actually going to turn on the uh, system recording here so you can hear the music is going to be playing. So now we're going to right click here again, come to audio, we're going to come to audio tra audio device I mean, and we're going to select speakers or the default one right here which is this. Writing, but how can we move forward if you okay so now we can hear the music, I've just turned it down a bit so you're able to hear me as I talk. So if I minimize this, Look right now, as you can see the desktop audio is going to be playing the music and so my microphone is also going to be there. Now what this means is it's going to pick up your gameplay, it's going to pick up your music at the same time. So you can uh, mess around with that from here, so this is going to change the entire music track and your desktop audio so you can't really control it from here. What I recommend doing is coming here to your speaker, right clicking it and select open a volume mixer and just come across and as you'll see this is where VLC is so you can turn it up or down completely up to you how you want it and then that is how you can control the sound of the uh, music and then of course your gameplay will also be displayed here so you can control the sound of your game at the same time so it's a bit more complicated to do it this way because you really have to be more aware of how everything sounds and of course your audience needs to be able to hear you at the same time. Anyway that's it for this video, that is how simple it is to add music into your streams. Soon I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to display the music in your streams so people know what music you're listening to and you won't have people spamming what music is this and to do that effect it's actually very simple as well. 
Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.